Hey guys, how are you? I'm Hashan. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a vector portrait or how to cut in yourself using Adobe Illustrator 2018. So, first of all, you will have to set your artboard. I'm going to use a 1080 pixel into 1080 pixel artboard. So, you can set your artboard, go to File, select New, or you can press Ctrl and your Ctrl and the end in your keyboard so you will get a pop-up window like this you can create your 1080 pixel into 1080 pixel artboard in using these properties use width as 1080 and height as 1080 and you can select the resolution I'm going to re select the resolution as 300 ppi click create so your artboard will be ready so this is the artboard we are going to use for our cartoon and I'm going to use a portrait of Robert Downey Jr. you know the famous actor who is acting as the Iron Man so today we are going to cartoon uh, this image okay so you can place this image by dragging and dropping into the Adobe Illustrator from the folder which it contains like I did and you can resize this image by pressing ctrl and shift and dragging the mouse on these corners whichever the corner you like on these four corners you can resize the image likewise and you are going to lock the image on the layer and we are going to draw the above layers so you can lock the image using the layer panel you can get the layer panel go to window in the drop down menu you can see the layer or you can use the F7 shortcut key on the keyboard to get the layer panel I'm going to press the F7 in the keyboard you can see there the F7 when, when we press the F7 the window is popping up so there is an empty box in between the eye and the layer you when you click that when you hover the mouse over on the empty box you can see tog you can see an, uh, an command box is popping up toggles lock within the brackets editable when blank so when you click that you cannot do anything on that layer it is locked you cannot do anything completely you can do nothing on it so that is essential because if you have to select any object you draw or any anything you draw you have to look this below layer because if you select something you will select this layer also so it is an it will be embraced so now we are going to draw the cartoon using only the mouse and the keyboard I know most of the people don't have a drawing tablet or whatever it is uh, so I'm going to use only the pen tool and the pencil tool and also the mouse and using keyboard we are going to draw the vector portrait so to start the vector portrait we have to create a new layer above the base layer in the layer panel you can see here there's a command popping up that says create new layer click on that icon create new layer first of all we have to create an art brush to draw this vector portrait to create an art brush first of all you will have to create a stroke which has three point weight so to create a vector to create a stroke you can use pen tool 
or you can use you can use line segment tool I'm going to use line segment tool oh. so take the line segment tool you can you can zoom in and zoom out while uh, while clicking alt on the keyboard and using the uh, scroll in the mouse uh, when you scroll forward you can zoom in when you scroll backward you can zoom out so use the line segment tool you can see uh, you can create any line using this line segment tool so to get the selection tool you can you can press V on the keyboard and to select that stroke you can click on the artboard anywhere you need and you can draw a selection box using selection tool you can select that stroke if you want to delete you can hit the delete key on the keyboard I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard okay so let's create a line segment uh, a direct line segment while holding the shift key on the keyboard you can create a direct line segment okay we created a line segment here now we are going to set the weight as 3 pixels you can select okay so now we are going to give a stroke weight of uh, 3 pixels in the above option panel you can see there stroke uh, there is an there is a box which we can use to enter the amount of the weight we want or you can use the up and down arrow heads to increase the size of the stroke you can increase the size of the stroke using this arrow head so you can enter the amount you want I'm going to enter the uh, amount as 3 and hit the enter ok now you can see the stroke is uh, increased then we are going to change this uniform of the stroke in, we are going to shape of the stroke uh, to do that you can select the drop down menu here you can see there is a uniform mode you can select the, this down arrow key then you will get a drop down menu with variable with profiles you can I'm going to select with profile 1 to the stroke you can see stroke uh, the uniformity of the stroke is changed into this shape then I'm going to copy the same stroke into several four strokes you can copy this stroke by holding the old key on the keyboard and when you hold the old key on the keyboard when you hover the mouse over the stroke you can see the, the selection tool becomes uh, double with the selection tool and the direct selection tool so you can hold down the old key and click on the object and drag it down while holding the shift key on the keyboard so it will be directly down below the first object you can see same as the first object the copy is same as the first object then hit ctrl d you can by by pressing the ctrl d on the keyboard you can get as much as the copies you want so I'm going to I'm going to create four copies. Press Ctrl D. Select the object. Press Ctrl D, and again press Ctrl D. You can see there are same size strokes with uh, with profile one we have created. So I'm going to use this with profile one, 
as it is and I'm going to increase the second bit, second stroke to uh, stroke weight into 4 pixels and the next one into 5 pixels and the next one into 6 pixels so you can see the uh, there you can see the shapes which has different sizes so we are going to save this as our art brushes to save this as our art brushes we are going to delete the default brushes on the illustrator to, de to delete the default brushes you can select the first brush and then you can select the and shift uh, select the uh, press the shift key on the keyboard by pressing the shift key on the keyboard click on the last brush you can see on the default brush panel to get the brush panel you can go to windows and you can in the drop down menu you can select the brushes there is there. you can see the you can see there's a, there is a window there's an option called brushes or you can press the F5 key on the keyboard to get the brush panel I'm going to press the F5 key it is the shortcut key for the brush panel when you press the F5 you get the brush panel select the first brush and shift select the last brush so you select the default brushes on the brush panel and drag all the brushes into the bin icon so you will delete all the brushes one there is a message popping up one or more of the brushes are in use in styles and cannot be deleted until the styles are deleted okay what do you mean by that let's try one by one okay you can do you can delete all the brushes one by one as I'm doing or you can click on the brush and hit the delete hit the bin button with bin icon delete brush yeah, I can see we cannot delete this brush okay let's see okay it doesn't matter we can delete this brush also okay now we are going to save these uh, save the brushes we created uh, first of all you will have to drag and drop the brushes we have created into the brush panel You can see there is no fill color, it is only the stroke color. Okay, now you have to uh, drag and drop these strokes we have created into the brush panel. Then you can see there is a window popping up. There are several options. We select the art brush option and click OK. Then there's another window popping up. Keep the keep every properties as it is. Only change the method option. Select tint so you can select whichever the color you want when you uh, when you make a brush stroke using mouse. So click OK. So repeat the same process for these four objects this uh, left three object back and drop art brush ok method tint ok back and drop art brush ok method tint ok drag and drop art brush ok method tint ok okay now we have created four different art brushes in our brush panel to check if those brushes works fine you can select the brush tool 
and select one brush then draw something with the mouse you can see there's fine edges we have created a new brush set select brush tool you can see the width profile is different than the first one and you can select the third brush is different than the first one and second one likewise you can, you can try every brush you have created so I'm going to delete these things <coughs> then we are going to save the brushes we have created on our default brush library because we are going to use the same brushes over and over again when we are doing a cartoon or whatever they want so I'm going to save these brushes to save these brushes in the brush panel you can see there is an uh, icon here on the right side of the uh, user interface on the brush panel click this icon then you get a drop down menu on the bottom you can see save brush library click on that so you will direct it to the uh, brushes folder where you can save your brushes I have created several brushes for my preference when I do the uh, cartoon portrait so I'm going to save so I'm going to save this as a uh, my new brush one okay save so the brush set brush set has been uh, saved so again we are going to create another brush set uh, by changing the uniformity into the width profile 4 as previous I'm going to select the what we call line segment tool and create a stroke while holding down the shift key on the keyboard and pressing the mouse in one point and hold, holding the left click and dragging it to some distance and letting go the left click you can create the stroke then we are going to change the size into 3 pixels as before and we are going to change the uniformity of this stroke into width profile 4 now there you can see a, another object we have created I'm going to create 4 copies of this I'm going to co uh, create 3 copies of this likewise holding down the old key and clicking on the object and dragging it down while holding the shift key and let go it so you will create another copy by pressing the control D you will create another copy another one again so we have created four objects now I'm going to change the stroke width into four third one into five the fourth one into six three four five and six okay as the previous brushes we are going to delete all the brushes on the brush panel because we have already saved the previous brushes I'm going to delete all the brushes hit delete brush okay the same problems come again we can delete one by one is enter that can load all the brushes into the brain <coughs> okay <coughs> now you can drag and drop the new brushes we have created into the brush panel like the same uh, like the same process we are going to use our brush click ok method change to now okay likewise i'm going to do the same processing to the left 
three brushes. Okay, now select the brush tool by pressing the B key on the keyboard. You can do you can see there's fine edges. You can see the different stroke it profiles are grown using these brushes. Okay, now select all the objects we have created, delete them, and like the previous one, we are going to save the these brushes into brush library. Go to the brush panel and this icon, click. Just drop down menu, save brush library. My new brush 2, I'm going to save it as my new brush 2. Okay, save. Okay, now all the we have created all the brushes we need. Zoom out the image. Now we are going to draw above the image. We are going to we are going to draw above the image. We are going to create a new layer. We have already created a new layer. If you feel like the image opacity is a bit high, you can change the image opacity. Unlock the layer and then you can select the layer image layer in the above option panel you can see the opacity option you can change the opacity into like uh, as your preference I'm going to use it as like 65 or something so I can see what I draw on about that layer okay now we are going to lock the layer then go to the brush panel on the brush panel left side below you can see here an icon brush library menu click on that icon then you will get the drop down menu on that menu go to the bottom you can see the saved in the user defined category you can see the saved the previous save brushes my new brush one, my new brush two. I'm going to say I'm going to click on those. Then you will get a pop-up window with those brushes. On the this window, on the left and right arrow keys, when you click those arrow keys, it will automatically load the uh, my new brush two. The brush set below the list. Okay, so you can increase the size of this menu by while dragging the bottom line okay I'm going to select the first brush and select the brush tool and you can see here we cannot draw anything in this layer because this layer is locked that is what we needed initially so I'm going to select the above layer now we can go on the above layer. So first of all, we are going to start the drawing uh, on the eye. You can see this line in between the eye and eyebrow. I'm going to draw that line using my mouse and the first brush we have created using the brush tool. Okay, you can see here just fine edges uh, <coughs> I'm going to use this brush with this I know so okay now next we are going to draw the around the eye start from starting from here I'm only doing this using my mouse. Okay. We have to close the every object we draw. So you can see there's no uh, 
loop here we are going to uh, connect these points by using by using the second brush that we have created I'm going to mine I'm going to select the first brush on mine brush 2 and draw like this okay and like this you can see the IC is completed or oh, we can do another thing we can or oh, we can if you feel like uh, that's not what we're looking for you can do the same thing using the same brush like this one you can see okay I think that's way better than the first one you can undo by uh, holding the control key on the keyboard and pressing DZ likewise or you can redo by pressing the control shift Z. okay now we can now we have created the outlining of the eye and we are going to create the outline of the same way like the previous one okay we have to close the object Okay. I'm going to delete this one I have initially draw. Okay. Then we are going to draw the eye board. To draw the eye board, you can select the uh, on the on on the toolbar. You can see the rectangle tool. When you right click on this tool, you will get the ellipse tool. Or you can select or you can press the L key on the keyboard. I'm going to press the L key on the keyboard. Okay, now you can got the lift tool. While sh holding down the shift key, I'm going to drag my mouse by clicking the mouse and holding it. You can you can change the position of this circle, the perfect circle, by pressing and holding down the space bar. Okay. Now this is a perfect circle for the eye. Okay. Now you have you can see you haven't got a fill color on the circle, you have only got a stroke. To change that into a stroke, you can select the circle and click on this icon. You can see swap fill and stroke or you can press the shift X on the keyboard to fill the circle using the black color I'm going to press the shift X okay now we can see we have completed the eye now there is an extra part <coughs> I'm going to delete that extra part using eraser tool on the toolbar or we can uh, cut the extra part using scissor tool. Let's try on that. I'm going to press the C on the keyboard. This is the shortcut key for the scissors tool. I'm going to press C 
ओके आउ नो सीसर सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज़ अ नाइफ टू ओके सो यू कैन ड्रो द शेप यू वांट यूजिंग द नाइफ टू एंड यू कैन सी द सर्कल हैज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट द अबाउट पार्ट्स ओके लाइकवाइज आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट द सेम प्रोसेस अगेन होल्डिंग डाउन द शिफ्ट की एंड ड्रैगिंग इट विद द माउस the size you want by pressing this space bar we can position it on the exact place so using the knife tool I'm going to cut the extra part on the circle now you can see there are three parts on the circle so let it using the direct selection tool to get the direct selection tool the shortcut key is A Selected. Okay. Now we have completed the eye using the mouse. Next, we are going to draw the nose to get the brush tool. Select the B key on the keyboard, and I'm going to draw here. Okay. We have to have my patience to do this using mouse. Okay. Then next, we are going to draw this line. Using the mouse, okay. Here is this line. And. We have to show the details of the nose, so uh, I'm going to use some imaginary lines to draw the details of the nose. I'm going to use it on this side, likewise, and you can see it. Okay. So you can you can see now I have drawn the nose. Then we are going to draw the eyebrows. There's another thing we can do here. Just using the pen tool, press the P key on the keyboard. We can draw some black. Parts on the nose here. Again, press the B key. Remember, I am only doing this using the my mouse. If anyone has drawing tablet, drawing thing, 
they can try the same with the throwing tablet okay now we have created the eyebrows let's first of all save the file Control S Okay So Now I'm going to draw the lips same process you have to have much patience oh it's just change control is it Keep in mind sometimes you have to do it over and over again. Just do it with patience because you are doing this using your mouse. Okay. That's okay. We have close these objects. I'm going to use the my new brush set two. Then we are going to draw an imaginary line below the eyelashes like this or oh, I just forgot to select the brush one okay like this like this bit blurry but you can still see some details so, since we are drawing this using the mouse going to be a bit hard okay then we can turn on the below layer and turn off to see what it look like on the white background now we are going to draw the eyelashes to draw eyelashes we have to increase the opacity of the below layer because we cannot see how the eyelashes are ok now I'm going to lock this again using first brush select the above layer 
so it's big the size is bit big you can minimize the size using this stroke weight let's give it 0.5 it's really okay select the brush one select the brush okay. I'm going to draw the lashes. So now you can fill these eyelashes like that. Now it's done. I'm going to turn on the below layer again. Okay. Let's put some edges here also. I'm going to delete some of these objects. Delete and draw again. I'm going to turn on the below layer okay and I'm going to lower the opacity of the below layer to say more 65 can okay, look it again okay next we are going to draw the facial hair the beard the style you want to repeat To draw the moustache, you have to create another brush. To create another brush, you select the brush you have created, go to the brow layer, and create some brush. Just using your brush, brush stroke, and lower the size to. At point five, and go the same as it is, and keep the size to draw it below the first brush. You can change the position using arrow keys after selecting the straw. Then. Draw again a brush stroke using 0.25 brush stroke using B key. You can hold down the shift key to draw any foam brush. Okay, now we have created four strokes and drag and drop into the brushes panel like the previous brush set select art brush ok select tint method ok now we have created another brush stroke see the brush and you can see now we have created a perfect brush so we need to everything and I'm going to draw the beard using the new brush. Select the new brush and brush. Be on the keyboard and start drawing. You can see how perfect it forms between the new brush. Just have to show the normal as you can see the beard. Just do it with patience so you won't miss the part of the beard decrease the size of the brush. 
for right there. You can do the same thing to this part. You couldn't get this part correctly. Take the brush out. Same thing to this part. Yeah. Again, select the same brush stroke into the point, into the one. So you can see how perfect the beard is by turning off the below layer you can complete the beard and then turn on the layer back then we are going to uh, create the hair using the brushes using the beard brush we have created Then using the pen tool, I'm going to draw the out oh, yes, uh, left. I'm going to decrease the size of the brush. So on the layer, and using the pen tool, I'm going to draw the hair. Okay, now we have drawn the hair. The next, we are going to complete the face. Turn on the below layer and get the brush. Hit the B key on the keyboard and we complete the face like this. There. Mm. You can see the stroke is 
bit small. We can select these brushes. Okay. I'm going to select my brush tool. Okay, and you can see we have created the that color outline of the okay. You can connect this one here. Okay. See, it's raining outside. That's why the sound is a bit noisy. Okay, the outline is perfect. And let's draw the neck. I'm only going to show you the face and the neck. Now we have completed the black outline of the drawing. Eh? Now there is small some few changes we have to do. We have to draw the eye here, this brush. Great. And then Check the the any missed parts to be made. Okay, it's perfect. Then we are going to color the image. Before color the design, we have to expand the appearance of these objects and merge all the objects into one object. To do that, you can see some points left here. Delete those points. Select every object by con by select the direct select the selection tool and the selection box around the objects, or you can. Select Ctrl A to select the select what we have drawn here and go to objects click expand appearance. It will expand the strokes. Click expand again and it will pop up a window window like this. Pin and stroke OK. Then every object has in this stroke has become an object we have to merge every black object yeah make sure you have closed every object there okay. You can erase some points if you want by selecting the eraser tool. Shortcut is Shift E. Shift E. Okay. Now select all. Again, it's very Okay, so double check and go to the 
you can't find the tool if you don't if you cannot see this tool in the right tool window go to the window and yes you can find pathfinder uh, shortcut key is shift control f9 i'm going to press shift control f9 ok yeah you can see the pathfinder tool then you have to merge every object we have created in this, this layer click this shape unit ok and so we are applying a filter ok now this has become a one object let's see no any other objects here ok hit the control S to save it and loop this uh, brush panel onto the toolbar so Okay, now with the layer panel, we have to create another copy of this outline uh, to create the card. Right? To create another copy of this outline, we have to select it, drag it down, and drop it on the new layer icon you will automatically create a new layer same as the before so we are going to lock the new layer ok now we can only we can only select one layer and we are going to turn on the below layer then we are going to increase the size of this artboard to increase the size of this artboard you have to you can select the artboard tool on the toolbar or you can just press shift plus o on the keyboard when you press shift plus o on the keyboard you get the uh, properties to change the artboard size i'm going to change the artboard size i'm, go I'm only going to change the artboard width not the height ok press escape then unlock the below layer and get it directly to the, the other side the extended side artboard how to get that press shift key and drag it on the other side ok now we have that made left it then we are going to add the base color onto the image click the ellipse tool right click on it and get the rectangle tool or you can select it using the shortcut keys just press the M you will get the rectangle tool and select the base color uh, by, to select the base color you can use the eyedropper tool to, eye, to get the eyedropper tool go to the toolbar select the eyedropper tool or you can press shortcut key i i'm going to press the keyboard uh, i ok to get the eyedropper tool and this is the main part you have to select a neutral color to your skin tone not you can see in this part they are highlights you can see in this part they are shadows in this part contains the neutral colors most of the time so i'm going to select something like that it may not be the exact same but anyway we have to fill the color go a box around the base layer okay turn off the upper layer and get this to the back of this layer set to do that just select the rectangle and press this piece on the keyboard control shift and 
bracket key. Then the name will be placed backward on the on the black layer side. Or you can just undo it and right click on it, uh, arrange, send backward. This is the shortcut key and send back the full back full bottom shift plus control plus back let's grab it okay so i'm going to try some uh, skin tones using this space okay. You can see if you choose this space, the more highlights. Okay, let's use this color. You can choose whatever the color you want. I was just checking the best color we can get. Okay, I'm going to uh, choose, I'm going to select this color as the base, the base color and select everything go to path find the tool and on the path find the tool select the divider tool from the path find the tool ok now it has divided the change into different shapes Delete the select the using the direct selection tool. You can select the outside color and hit delete button. Okay. Now, now we are going to change the colors of eye. Use these parts using direct selection tool while holding down the shift key you can select several objects if you do not hold down the shift key you can only select one object so hold down the shift key then using the fill double click on the fill and you can give some uh, color into the eyes I'm not giving the pure white to the eyes and just you know uh, gray mix white to the eyes okay it's done and the next thing is we have to use the lips colors select the lips and can you remember the shortcut for the eye of the tool press i on the keyboard Select the suitable color for the lips and here. Okay. And so this part of the eye, like the previous one, just holding down the shift key and get the eyes of the tool. You can select a color. Okay. This color. Or you can just select only two. Okay. Now just save the file before something happen because always remember to save the file when something happens you, uh, sometimes you get the recover file sometimes you want so I recommend you to save the file okay okay now we're going to uh, do the shadings to do the shadings you have to 
icon on the above layer you can see the copy of the black finger okay turn it on and to understand the shading uh, we have the source in the image uh, there you can see I can show using my mouse you can see there you can see the darker parts in the face below the above the forehead in between the hair and the forehead this side is the uh, in the middle of the face you can see the light area and again a dark area not this much dark but a shadow uh, so we are going to use four uh, shadow colors four or three shadow colors to be made and two or three light colors to be made let's create the shadow colors first so look this layer and select the below layer and create new layer okay using eye of tool select the base layer and using the base layer the magnet for the field we are going to select the shades I'm only I'm going to use shades within the color picker option okay that some way down is the first shade select uh, hit the M not M uh, L key on the keyboard and go up uh, circle okay this is the this is the first shape drag the layer up okay, this is the first shape and alt shift drag the circle using the mouse and this will be the second black shape Okay. This will be the third dark shade here. Okay. You can see these are the shades for the face, and we are going to use light colors. Click the eyedropper tool and get the base color and double click on the fill then we are going to select the light colors okay just select on a line like this okay it's the first light color this will be the second light color I'm going to change this color. Okay. So now First, keep in mind we are going to draw the uh, shadows on the face. The first thing we do is draw the shadows. Select the layer tool and create new layer. Okay, so it will be drawn 
above the base layer select the pen tool now the important part is you have to figure out how to draw the shadow this is the darker color so to draw the darker shades you will have to select the, the baseline of the black outline I will show how it's done you can see here I am going to select the other color in the middle of the tool. See here. Okay. Is the first shading we use. We can we can select some smooth corners. We can do some smooth corners. Will be great. Okay. You can see still the dark area, right? Or you can just pencil tool to draw the shades. Okay, so this is the darkest part, the darkest shadow. We are going to see another shadow here. Remember, I'm doing this using the mouse, so it will be a bit hard for you also to go using the mouse this pen tool to highlight this area you can see darker shades here okay here as well always compare with the original image you can see the darker shade here Try it out. You can unfill using a shortcut key, uh, or you can unfill this using this icon.
Um, the aqua shade is done, I think. If something is left, you can select the layer and do it later on. Okay, just load the layer panel, lock this layer, and we are going to create the next shade. Select the layer 2 and create a new layer below that shading layer. Select that one. Go to the right over tool and select this color. Okay. And now we are going to expand the darker areas. Right there. Okay, now then we are going to do the second shading. Select the base layer and above it. Lock the previous one. Above it, create a new layer. Using the ID for tool. Okay. You can turn on and off some layers. So I'm going to go on this layer again. So this color.
okay now we have done the shadings now next I'm going to do the highlights so to do the highlights select this color here Highlights are done above these layers. So, above the base layer, I'm going to use create a new layer above the base layer. Okay, select this, and you can see there's a highlight. highlight there. and above that layer select that layer and create new layer not the base layer select this layer select the highlighted layer above that this, this color So the shading the skin is completed. You can turn on all the layers and see what first what happened to the uh, skin. This is the skin we had. This one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. So that's how the so that's how the shading is done. Next, we are going to shade the lips. To create the shading on the layers. Like these color palettes, like this one. Hold shift, click drag below, and select the lip and shadings, shadings. Select the lid. Light green. Light colors. First. Do the dark colors check here below that layer create a new layer again selecting this color then tool Below that layer, this layer, create a new layer, choosing this color and the pen tool. Select 
fill it with light color and draw here select the light color here okay now the lip shading is complete okay now the next thing is I'm going to save the eyes Take the eyes or the top create M press M key on the keyboard not M L shift drag the circle and let's see into the You can select a lighter color for the eyes. You can erase the extra yard. and you can see some glowing colors here good Using pen tool, you can set something like that inside the eyes. Triangle. Like that. So next. Now you can see on the ear we have forgot to do the shading. We can find the red shading. So this is the, the eye layer and this is the layer. Select this color and do some shading on the ear. Likewise, and we can do some sh some more little shading on the yellow layer. Okay, now it's done. I think we can run the layer. Okay, now we have done the shading on the uh, skins. So, what is left is drawing the <coughs> hair. To draw the hair, I'm going to Use the to draw the hair. We are going to use some shadings also. First, we have to create hair brushes.
to draw the hair to create hair brushes uh, like this of this one you don't need this one to create brushes first select a brush remember how you create this brush create a new create a new layer in the top of the layer panel and you can see the second one is the which has weight of one point stroke 0.7 point stroke 0.5 point stroke and one stroke so we are going to draw the hair on the same method we are only changing the color of this hair or of this uh, brush to change the color you can can use this color okay select that brush you can see it look like the same see it is this is the color and we are going to lower the opacity of this color like 50 percent and draw the hair you can see when you draw the hair you can see this a uh, better effect since the opacity is lower let's draw the hair to draw the hair you can select color from the actual hair and use the brush we use to draw the beard and draw the hair as it is remember I am drawing using my mouse so Now you can change the color to a light color. And also you can select a one hair brush and draw a few hair using the brush. Right, right. Okay, now we have completed our cartoon portrait drawing. So uh, you can see how beautiful it is. Uh, you can need the bottom layer now. delete and unlock all the layers select these layers as well delete them ok ok 
okay now you can change the size of the artboard by uh, click press shift ctrl o and you can change the artboard size to 1080 okay and you can place the vector you draw, you draw in the middle of the artboard so this is how we draw a perfect vector portrait using mouse and the keyboard in illustrator so if you have any questions comment below i will answer uh, to all of them as much as i can and hit like button on this video and subscribe to my channel uh, i'm going to do uh, two tutorials on this uh, vector portrait drawing uh, I think you like them and hit the bell icon to get the notifications when I upload a video so finally thank you for watching this uh, I wish you luck and get the practice so you will understand how the shadings and lightings work light lighting areas work so I wish you luck Thank you for watching this video.